Knights night on, night of, night on, okay, of so World 2 right. explanation. Right. And why? Because uh, uh, we have uh, to speak in love uh, concerning the two undetermined objects. We have to, uh, uh, for example, uh, decision uh, to have a child. Okay. Uh, it's a term T, a child. Eh? It's a really external, finally. Uh, and, and it's EV, it's EV as external. And uh, we have to decide, I uh, to decide that some experimentation of the world is the form of a child, and it's not only uh, uh, to, to act. Uh, certainly we have to act to have a child, okay. But uh, uh, we have also to speak, really, uh, <coughs> generally a long time. When, how, and so on. And it's always the case that in love there is no final distinction between actions and, and words. There is a mixture of action and words. For example, when, when you say I love you, it's words, but it's also an act, in fact. It's also an engagement. It's a, and, and it's always, uh, and there is, there is a, a transformation of the language by love. And so I am not at all in contradiction with the idea that love is fundamentally action. It's my, my vision. <coughs> okay. And so, uh, but there is also inside law, many discussions concerning law. You know that, and you too. <laughs> <laughs> All this discussion, you, you, say, you say I am in Q action, but it's not true. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the other you are, I'm in pure action. I'm in pure action. I mean pure pure action. action. Okay. But talking. In child, yes, marriage, in action, marriage and all this stuff, as we both know, yeah. is not really okay, love. It's okay. the end of it already. Yeah. <laughs> Here, yeah. also, in pure action and pure words. <laughs> okay, fine. L'amour, <laughs> Henry. Yes, um, what do you think about um, the term of um, extinacy? You say uh, that intimacy is a very... Um, exist, but Lacan uh, wrote that it doesn't exist, that, and that's why he's using the term extin. Mm -hmm. And I think he's referring to the big other. Mm -hmm. So, for Lacan, there is no intimacy. Can you? Yes, but I, na I, I name intimacy, yeah, not uh, not uh, in a theoretical disposition, intimacy is not uh, only for me the movement in love, which is the movement of contraction in direction of the misunderstanding concerning the common object. <laughs> and it's a fascination. And there is, a, 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 it's an experience in love, the fascination for the misunderstanding to create the condition of a fundamental discussion. <coughs> you know that? It is, it is why, from the very beginning of the history of love, uh, the question of discussion, of uh, contradictions, of uh, uh, many, many words for nothing finally, and so on, and uh, all that sort of violent discussion, which finally has their conclusion in the bed and so on, all these uh, common stories of uh, love, <coughs> ah, exist because we have always, not only the movement of expansion, which is, if you have only the movement of expansion, you are in the sublime vision of love. And if you have only the movement of contraction, you have in the trivial uh, conception of love, sexual adventure, something like that. But precisely, love is always the two movements as systole and diastole, systole and diastole, and the diastole is more and more expansive, so the movement of systole is more and more important too, because you come from away <coughs> and you return to the center of the question, which is the enigmatic uh, thing you. And so there is no contradiction with Lacan in this term. It's not intimacy in the sense of, of a relationship properly intimate with the other. It's intimacy in the sense of the second movement of love. But your, your 
the answers seem to be clear that you have a very broad understanding of love. Mm -hmm. so you are not that you ask what is love, you are not kind of trying to find what is love really, so you see what else, what could be included in that. Yeah, because I, actually, I think, I think, yeah. I think, I think a, love, a process of love is always this tomb of months. Naturally, after that, all is uh, different. I, I think that one love, one absolutely singular love between two specified persons is a truth procedure. So it's something universal. But two loves are absolutely different. For this reason, they are absolutely different. So this difference I cannot speak of, naturally. Uh, it's, uh, uh, for this, uh, I, I describe a novel or an autobiography. Yes. That is, when I would ask what is really love, I would say only amofu is really love. The rest yeah. is... Uh, What's that mediation or whatever you call it? But if you read, if you read André Breton, yeah. we can see that amour fou is precisely the, the two, two different violent movements. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There, the, uh, the graphic depiction on the back side of the paper is very organic in its presentation. And the, uh, the way you do the mathematical presentation it also suggests sort of an internal organicness to the whole process. Mm -hmm. And I'm very curious about the term T, um, because it, re it seems to be a product of a natural function as opposed to an artificial one. And I, I'm wondering how, if T in one instance can be, represent a child, how does an adopted child fit into that model? Yes, I think, I think, I think it, uh, 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 the term T represents, in fact, something which is in nature, in the world, and so on and it's external. And when I say that uh, uh, we have the movement from this external term uh, to the center, it's not the term itself who comes to the center. Maybe a child, or maybe a travel in Italy, or <laughs> all that you want. It's not the term itself. It's the lovers which have to return by a fascinating movement to something which is the intimacy of love. And, and so uh, we can return, when we are in a travel in Italy, we can return to the center in Italy too. It's not the problem. <laughs> we have not to return in Paris or something like that. So, so, so it's not the movement of things. It's the movement of love itself, which, uh, uh, which uh, when the, the diastole uh, envelops uh, many determinations from the point of view of the two, we have always a systole which is a guarantee that there is something which is exclusively disposed between the two or with the two. And the proof by the world does not suffice to guarantee the law. We have to return also to the primitive arena, the small arena, which in which is, in fact, that we have to include in love also a sexual adventure. <coughs> so a sexual adventure is a part of love. But we cannot reduce love to this part. And uh, the, 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 the sublime uh, expansion of love in the world is also a, a, a limit or a part of love, but we, 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 we cannot be only in this sublime part. So we have to have the two, but to have the two is a movement. We cannot have the two as a distribution, as a fixed, because the great enemy of, uh, of love is repetition. But we have to repeat too. So the repetition is an internal enemy of love, but we have also to repeat, to repeat what? To repeat the movement itself. Expansion and contraction. And, and <coughs> And that is, that, is, that is why we have uh, uh, this, this delimitation of the two movements.